Welcome back to the kitchen renovation. We did make a little bit of progress uh, in the last few weeks. I feel like we kind of got um, a little bit sidetracked. There was just life happening and so progress was slower than what I was hoping for. Um, what we did get done though is I got a little bit hyper fixated on our shelving here. So we started with open shelf, uh, not open shelf, blind shelf, floating shelf brackets. I guess they're also called blind shelves, so I'm not completely wrong in using that term. Um, but we started with the floating shelf brackets, and they did not provide the stability that I was hoping for. Um, I really wanted to be able to utilize these shelves and stack heavy dishes like, you know, the stack of plates on them. I didn't want to just use them for decorative purposes. So I wanted to make sure that they were really stable. So, um, I did like the look of uh, having like wooden brackets like this. So we built these and I feel like they really lean into the English country cottage look that I'm going for, um, going for that aesthetic. And so I think mission accomplished, we're successful, we have stable shelves and they fit the aesthetic. So that's a win-win. Um, I also, started, uh, I had stained them, said I didn't like the stain, and then I lime washed them when I lime washed the wall, but that just wasn't turning out like I wanted. So I ended up mixing some paints together and painting them, and I like how they turned out. Um, it's not exactly what I was going for, but I like how they turned out. So that's like the main part of the progress. Um, we were also able to install a sink light which is amazing because um, we have not had a light over the sink for some time. It's, it's been a few months uh, that we've been without a working light. store and especially our beeswax candles.
I have always loved lighting a candle, especially on a cold, rainy day. And over time, I began to realize that traditional candles were causing me headaches and nausea. I began experimenting with more clean candle options like soy candles. However, there were always still question marks that I had as far as the ingredients. Most of these candles contained dyes and fragrance oils that were undefined as to what was in them. And then I discovered beeswax candles. I came across a tutorial on how to make beeswax candles that were scented purely with essential oils, and I was intrigued. So I started pouring candles, started experimenting with them, and figuring out how to successfully make a really great quality clean burning candle. I love the beeswax candles because there are absolutely no question marks as to what is contained in them. I use absolutely no dyes and I only use pure essential oils for the candles that are scented. I also use just pure beeswax and cotton or wood wicks. The cotton wicks are dipped in beeswax to ensure a more clean and efficient burn. I love burning these beeswax candles because there are no question marks with the ingredients and I feel good. There are no headaches and the scent is not overwhelming. It's a very light scent, more of a suggestion rather than a room enveloping scent. They have a really warm glow that provides a wonderful ambiance, especially in the winter and the darker months. The burn life is unparalleled by other waxes and they burn clean and provide some air purification benefits as well. For the month of October, I am offering 20% off all of our candles on our Etsy store, and I will have that store linked below. All you need to do is use the code AUTUMN20. So because I need to give myself some visual encouragement that we're actually making progress on the kitchen, um, I bought a couple of samples of paint for the cabinets. Now, I don't know if I should really make a decision on which color to go with until after we get the butcher block in, just because I want to make sure that our tones are complementary and not um, something that I'll regret after having gone to all the work of painting the cabinets, but um, it, it is fun to buy paint. So that's why I did it. I'm going to try these two samples on the side of this cabinet that we will not be reusing and just see to see what it looks like um, and maybe start the decision making process so that I'm better prepared for when we get the butcher block. Okay, let's try this. That's, that's very green. We'll have to see how this dries. So this is sweet basil. This is backwoods. I really feel like I couldn't make a decision until I get butcher block in here. This tone of wood is probably similar to what the butcher block will look like, but I don't know. This is, this is tough. So from the budget standpoint, um, we did make some money this last few weeks, as well as we bought some things like the light um, and a lot of miscellaneous small things. So I'm just gonna go through what I spent money on and then um, what I made money on as well and uh, let you know where we stand currently. So I bought drill bit, a drill bit for $18. I bought screws for $9. Um, the sink light was $42. I bought some miscellaneous tools for $15. Um, a, the floating shelf brackets and lime paint for $81. 
um, rub and buff. I'm, I'm trying to um, see if rub and buff will work to like unify the different metallic elements that I'm going to be bringing in. Um, just because it's difficult to get match like a match across different brands um, when you're buying like brass or, or gold or whatever. Um, it's kind of difficult to get those matching. So I'm going to see if rub and buff works to solve that issue. Um, that was $9. And then I also bought hardware for a hutch that I'll be listing and that was $23. I also, on the income side of things, I recycled some cans, $11. Um, I sold a dining room table that had been sitting on the market for probably about a year. Finally sold that and the profit was $88. Um, and then Joe also sold some photography gear that he hadn't been using for quite some time and that was $50. So our current uh, standing with the budget is $102. Now I have quite a number of pieces that are listed or will be being listed soon. Um, so hopefully we're going to make like some larger leaps ahead in the coming week or two. However, I do uh, plan to add in or um, switch off the kitchen content with some of our camper renovation content because both of those projects are happening simultaneously. So even if the kitchen isn't uh, moving forward as fast as we'd like, I will still have some fun things to show you as well.